Hey there, did you enjoy the content today? I really hope so. If you did, think about subscribing. That would really help me out. Thanks! Well, hello there, and thanks for coming by and having tea with Linda. In case you didn't know, I'm Linda. Hi! Okay, my friends, you might be able to look at the end of the table here and see that I might have fallen off the deep end. Um, I was in Del Rio with, uh, with the husband. We were seeing Spencer. Um, hi, Spencer. Um, and this was back in September and Spencer and I went to the local Marshalls and they had some teas on sale. Um, well, I don't, they weren't on sale. They just had teas on sale. Anyway, um, so I got this little bin because, oh my gosh, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I mean, look at that. It's totes adorbs. So I went ahead and I got it. Well, I haven't had the tea out of it yet, but when I was at my local world market a month or so ago, maybe it was two months ago. Anyway, when I was stocking up on my berries, they had a huge bin of the stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this tin. Is this not the most awesome looking freaking tin ever? I mean, it is it isn't double sealed. It's only got the one. But then it's got, it, it has so much tea in it. I mean, look at this. It's, it's like the bin that never ends. Uh, let's see, it has 240 tea bags in here. So, you know, that you would think that that would keep me happy. Of course, I don't know if I like the tea yet because I haven't had it. So I kind of, you know, jumped to conclusions there. Um, but it's, I mean, oh my gosh, how could you not? How can you see this pen and not get it? Okay, so there you go. So, goodness, I hope I like this tea. <laughs> um, okay, so this tea is the uh, traditional English tea, a fine breakfast tea. This is from New English Teas. Uh, we did have one of their teas before. I don't remember which one it was, but it was in another tin that had, like, uh, Buckingham Palace on it or something. Um, so we'll see. Uh, there are, this is Vintage Victorian New English Teas, 40 tea bags. Uh, this is Pure Ceylon Tea, packed in Sri Lanka. Uh, okay, let's see. It says, this tea should be brewed in boiling water for three to four minutes. All right, so... On the back it says, with their clusters of azure petals, forget-me-nots became a symbol of love and remembrance for the Victorians. It was also during the Victorian era when drinking tea became even more popular in Britain with the introduction, with the introduction pardon me, of high tea. New English teas have created this 42 bag of vintage tea patty to carry on forget-me-nots message of sentimentality and giving. This fine English breakfast tea has been carefully blended to give a full, refreshing flavor to enjoy any time of day. Alright, so let's crack the code. Let's crack the code. Let's take the tape off. How about that? Have you ever watched a movie that was just so god-awful dumb, you just couldn't deal with it, but yet you had already watched so much of it you wanted to finish it just because you had invested that kind of time? I've seen a lot of movies like that, and I must say, I'm not, it's kind of embarrassing to admit that you've watched them, but when the husband and I started dating, back when we were still 
young <laughs> when we had the world in front of us um he called me the queen of B-movies because I, I love B-movies. Some movies are so bad they're good. Others are just so bad they're god awful. All right. So, um, as we could tell from these before, they are all in bags. However, they are not uh, uh, vacuum packed. You know, but that's, you know, eh, it is what it is. Um, okay, these are in square, uh, square paper bags. Um, they look very small as far as the grounds go. Um, I mean, there's no leaves in that, but that's, you know, that is what it is. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm so sorry that my voice keeps going in and out. Um, I can't get my knife back where it belongs. Okay. All right, so now... Hey Siri, set a timer for three and a half minutes. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Counting down. All right, we will put our tea bag here. And um, just kind of hope. The, the wording that's on the back of the small tin is also on the back of the big tin. It's just, instead of it being an oval, it's more of a, well, it's still an oval, but it's, instead of it being landscape, it's portrait. Um, I just, I love the color, the robin's egg blue. I, I, I love the color. I like the gold accents. Um, I enjoy collector's tins. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I have no room for it. Um, but there's so many other things that I could store in it, um, you know, for the business as opposed to just having other scattered things all over the place. Um, there is, there's another lady, it's the Tea Leaf Project. Her name is Stephanie. She has this amazing she shed. Well, it's a tea shed. It's beautiful. Oh my God, her tea shed is gorgeous. And I'm really jealous because I would like one of those myself. Um, uh, just a, a room all to me and my teas to where I could have them lined up nicely and all my little collector's bins. And I would, gosh, I'm well in all the teapots. And I, I'm really jealous um, because when I turn around, it looks like that's what my entire house is. <laughs> hey, Siri, stop timer. Okay, so our three-minute timer, three-and-a-half-minute timer has elapsed. Um, oh, of course, I don't have anything. Well, we'll just fish it out with our fingernails. Um, you know, it's not, not filled up. Throw that away. Um, the color, the color doesn't look so bad, actually. It's, <laughs> I'm, it's the yum yum color. Yum yum, yum yum yum. Uh, it is clear, but there is just a hair of particulate in it. It smells like tea. It, I mean, it just smells like tea. That, my friends, is a standard cup of tea. That is not in any way remarkable or outstanding. Um, it's not unremarkable. I mean, it's just, it's a standard cup of black tea that, that you can ice without a problem. You can have hot, uh, it can hold up to milk and sugar or honey. Um, it's, it's neither good nor bad. It's not bitter. It's smooth. It's just a standard cup of tea. Um, it's not the greatest quality, um, but it's not the worst quality. I would still, I would equate this kind of along the Lipton line uh, as far as quality of it goes. I, that's really all I have to say about it, you know. Uh, this tin of 40 bags was five bucks. 
uh, when we bought it at Marshall's. Uh, I want to say that when I got this one at World Market, it was like $25. Um, I mean, but I've got 280, well, 279 tea bags here for 30 bucks, which, I mean, you can't say, just shake a stick at that. Um, all right. Anyway, um, you know, that's really all there is with it. It's, it's not remarkable. It's not overwhelming. It's not underwhelming. It's just a standard cup of black tea that does what it's intended to do. Uh, alrighty. Well, thanks for coming by and having a couple with me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.